Hi, my name is Sam, and today I'm going to go over how to use the Compute Ambient Occlusion module to segment out the pores in a data set. So to start out, I've loaded this mousespine.amn, and I'm going to attach a volume rendering to it. So the hard part about this data set is let's connect an ortho slice, and the pores in general are darker values, and they are similar in color to the background. So the pore color and the background color are exactly the same. And the only difference between the pores and the background is the pores abide by that are like inside of the object. But we can't make that assumption with this data set because sometimes the pores are open to the outside. So this is where the ambient inclusion module comes in. The ambient inclusion module takes basically all the background pixels in an image and it creates a number of rays around that pixel going in all different directions. And it sees if that ray intersects the surface, the foreground. And by computing the number of rays that intersect the foreground to the no total number of rays for each pixel, we can evaluate whether a pixel is inside the object or outside the object. So to do that, we need a binary image. So we're going to create an auto thresholding operation like so. Click apply. And let's check this out with the ortho slice. And we can see how it goes. So that looks like a pretty good threshold. And here's a really good illustration of how the pores are connected to the background area. And this is why it would be hard to use a traditional method. But let's create an ambient occlusion module. So the ambient occlusion module has two different settings, the maximum distance and the number of rays. So the number of rays is just the number of rays it creates for a certain point. The maximum distance, on the other hand, is how long it projects those rays out for. The longer it projects the rays, the more computationally intensive it is. So we want the rays to basically be as long as like the biggest pores in this data set. So then it can hit the outside whenever it should. So to do this, we're going to create an object. We're going to create a measurement object. And we're going to use the ruler to measure these pores. So we're going to measure from here to here. So this is around 557. So let's just round up to 600 and say that is a good um, distance. And let's just try it out. So we're going to turn off measurement. And then we're going to enter 600 here, like so, and click apply. So this might take some time to compute. And one thing to note is it it really helps to have a NVIDIA graphics card with CUDA enabled because that will make the computation significantly faster. Also, a more powerful graphics card will make that computation also happen faster. So it is almost done now and we can wait for it for a second. One, another thing to note is we also will have a download link for a cropped version of this data set if you wanna try the compute ambient occlusion module but don't have a powerful GPU. So now that it's done, let's take a look at it. So let's attach the ortho slice. And first thing let's do is let's change the color map just so we can see more of it. And we can see how all inside all the pores, it's a bright white and it's basically one, which shows that almost all the rays intersect with something, which is exactly what we would expect. And as we get out to the farther background, it's just completely black because the rays intersect nothing. So the output of ambient inclusion, one will be all rays intersected the foreground and zero will be no rays intersected the foreground. So because this makes the pores so white, we can just use an interactive thresholding module to segment this. So let's turn off the first ortho slice. This gives us a good segmentation of the pores. We can just use the set intensity range just to get like this to be perfect but this is good enough for me at least. So we're just going to click apply. And now let's create a voxelized rendering to look at the pores. And let's turn off the interactive thresholding module. And there we go. Those are the pores in the mouse spine. All right, that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.